Hi everybody, welcome back to my studio. My name is Natifa and today I wanted to share an envelope or the project that I made for the new release from Tim Holtz and Sizzix, their everyday collection. And I am very excited to share this one with you all because I really enjoyed creating it. So this one is the envelope kind of banner that I did for um, for the release and I used the bunny stitch and the alpha numeric um, die set to do those and it was a lot of fun um, so if you are interested in seeing that make um, keep watching and if you have any questions let me know I'll talk to you soon all right bye bye so for this one, I'm creating a 5x5 five five envelope. And so I decided to use my envelope punch board because it's just super easy to use. You don't have to worry too much about anything. It gives you all the measurements to punch and score and cut out. So um, it's just a really easy way to get your envelopes going. So I highly recommend this one. So afterwards, I wanted just to show you all just the score line so you can see the square there. So I darkened the camera a little bit um, and then I went on to start creating my uh, little banner triangle. So I just cut out some paper and then I just drew a triangle, um, cut that out and that's my template that I'm gonna use to create my little banner. So next I'm gonna find all the papers that I wanted to use to do the background of my envelope. I've been wanting to do like a tiled kind of envelope um, before I'm gonna be using some vintage photo first to kind of paint it on the back, but I cut out all the little um, strips out of the vintage paper from Tim Holtz because I love it and I thought it was gonna look really beautiful um, with this one. So I did this, um, dried this out, started to measure out some stuff and I'm just gonna cut these out and then I'm just gonna glue them down kind of in like a alternating pattern. So you'll see how I'm doing this and I'm just gonna let you guys watch.
So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to paint the inside of this um, the envelope flat because I'm going to be adding envelope liner inside of it. I'm still using vintage photo for this one, but it's just a nice backdrop for my liner. through and painted the correct side of the envelope the correct flap I went through and started kind of creating the flap and so I just use one of the flaps as my template and drew like a triangle and then I went back over um, with some regular paper and just sort of drew that smaller then I use um, another piece of paper to kind of create a triangle and just sort of made it like work um, in there kind of it's really is just finagled honestly um, but it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want it to be where you can kind of create something that fits inside your envelope and has a little bit of a border around like how you see there. So once I did that, I went through and I used some additional papers to cut out my envelope liner out of this beautiful paper. And it looked really, really gorgeous. I used some vintage photo again to just distress the edges for inside the envelope and also my liner. And I love the way this one turned out. <music> So now I'm going to go ahead and start using some abstract elements. This is um, from the new Tim Holtz and Sizzix release, um, the everyday release collection. Um, uh, listen, let me just tell you something about these little elements. They are amazing. I think they're so underrated and people don't typically know what to do with them. But honestly, they are really great for just like filler pieces. If you're doing like mixed media or even just like what I'm doing right here, they can create an entire piece by within themselves. But they come through like in a clutch sometimes, like when you just need that extra little like leaf or filler or something, these are amazing to like you. So I highly recommend them They're I don't think they're, I don't consider them like a, a, a major like focal piece, which they can be, but they are really great as like filler pieces, at least for me. So I love using them. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just sort of putting down some, some of these little elements and creating a design for my envelope liner and kind of going from there.
So I'm just going to go ahead and start working on the banner that's going to go inside the envelope. You know, I am somebody who believes in just like doing things a little bit differently. I don't think you need to send greeting cards all the time to people. I think you can send other little gifts to people. That's part of the magic keeping for me. That's part of just sort of like, you know, giving people a little bit of delight, a little bit of um, just a little magic, something different, because they would probably be expecting a greeting card inside of an envelope. But, you know, when they open it, they take it out rather than a I love you for Valentine's Day. Um, a card is like a whole entire banner and I think that is just that's awesome I love that so I decided to create a banner for this one and um, it's going to say I love you but I wanted to kind of make it vintagey like the style of the envelope to, come, to kind of match the envelope so I just um, used the template that I created earlier from the watercolor paper the little triangle and I just drew out some triangles for my banner and I just sort of did two for one little um, pennant um, on the banner and I'm going to glue these two together with some collage medium and that's just how I did it I went through and did all of them um, the one thing I will say is that if you want to you know to make it where it's not as um, it matches you want to flip your your template over to do the other side um, I did for some of these and then I missed for some of them so I had to go back in there and use my scissors and cut it but it works you can use one if you want to um, I just want a little bit more sturdiness in mine and so that's why I did two and kind of glued them together So now I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to punch the holes for my the, for the string to go through my banner. And I just used my template that I had earlier and just punch some holes in there and just use that as a template on top of the vintage paper envelope and just punch some holes there again. I am a template user. So if you're good at freehanding that, go for it. But for me, I was not about to do that. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, and then I just went back through and started adding on all of my letters. And so I'll let you guys see how this one comes together.
So now I'm just going to go back in here and fold this banner up together um, and then I'm going to stick it into the envelope and I decided that I wanted to figure out a way to close the envelope um, because it wasn't closing. So I thought that adding an extra bunny on the front would be really, really cute. So for this one though, because I knew it was going to be the, the place that people opened it from, I actually did two layers of the base of the bunny. So that's what that black... Um, bunny was the silhouette and then I put the brown one on top of it and then I'm going to put the little like resist um, scrapbooking paper on top of that so it gives it a little bit more durability when you're opening it because I'm actually going to use a little bit of velcro to close this envelope um, because it's it, it's not going to close otherwise unless I'd like you know um, like use wax seal or something like that but it, this is just an easy way to kind of close it and to add a little bit of an extra element to it um, and the front so I wanted to add a little heart on there to kind of carry over the theme from the back side of the envelope so I'm creating a heart and now I'm going to glue down my bunny and I'm going to use um, the hot glue gun so I was messing with that heart so it kept moving around so I had to put some more glue but anyway so I'm going to glue down this bunny with some hot glue people have feelings about me and the hot glue I don't know why but I'm gonna use it and it's just gonna be what it is and so it's there um, and trying to make sure it's secure with a little bit of extra hot glue putting my heart down to make sure that's secure and now I'm going to use this velcro so I have both um, black and white velcro I tend to kind of use whatever color I think is gonna look the best on the envelope and so that's what I'm doing here but it's a really good um, way to secure your flap if you have stuff that's a little bit more bulky inside of your envelope um, you can you know use velcro and it's it worked perfect so i'm glad i started to use this So here is the full layout of the project. Um, this is the banner section of this. I really enjoyed working on this. I thought it was a lot of fun. And I think I'm actually going to do a lot more like projects that are inside of the envelopes that I make. So we'll see. But for now, um, I love it. It's just the back side of the envelope, the front side of the envelope, the entire flat lay as I styled it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I love this one. So if you guys have any questions, Please let me know, otherwise I will talk to you all soon. Thank you for watching and I hope you will subscribe. All right, talk to you later.